Hey YouTube, welcome back to the layout. We are on our advanced DCC series. This is part 10 and we are doing some DCC lighting. Uh, I've gotten a lot of requests over the last year uh, to do some lighting install and how to. Uh, so I want to take care of that. I keep promising that I'm going to do it. I've also, as you can see, gotten the new Authorn SD70 ACE or ACE, uh, depending on how you want to call it. And I've also had some lighting issues uh, with the ditch lights on this and I've seen others on the internet uh, have some issues as well. So I want to do some lighting how-to. I want to start simple and then we're going to work our way up to doing the uh, DCC install with the sound and doing some uh, lighting fix on this author so we can get it to work correctly. So for today's uh, install we're going to use a real simple basic Digitrax DH123D. This is their uh, most common uh, HO scale mobile and function decoder and we're going to be using some 12 volt incandescent lamps. Uh, 12 volts good and bad. It's good because it's going to make our lighting how-to very easy uh, because we don't need to mess with any resistors. Uh, it's bad because the real application is they're going to run kind of hot here at the bulb, uh, so you really couldn't use this for a ditch light or a headlight. Uh, at best, it could be a replacement bulb if you already have a 12 volt bulb uh, in the locomotive or as a cab light, something of the sort. Uh, so something to keep in mind when we go do the install in the locomotive, uh, we'll actually use uh, a one and a half volt bulb. I haven't decided if I'm going incandescent or LED, and we'll use some resistors, and I'll show how to do that. Uh, all I've done is I've taken a decoder with its harness and I've put a couple of alligator clips on for power, black and red, which would normally be your track power. And I'm using my extension box here. Uh, the bottom one is my Digitrax command station. The top one is my Digitrax PR3 so I can do some programming out of this box as well. And I have an alligator clip to one end of the incandescent bulb. I'm going to hook up to a few different wires to show how they work and what goes to what. And I have the other alligator clip of the incandescent bulb hooked up to the blue wire. And I'll explain why I did that here in just a sec. Okay, what I've done here is I've gone to the Digitrax website to give a brief overview of how this works. Uh, you can also view this diagram in any 9-pin uh, harness that Digitrax uh, supplies with their HO scale decoders. Um, as you can see, black and red, if you can see the mouse tear is your track power like I mentioned before and if you see my other installs you, you've been following along you know that already. Uh, orange and gray go to your motor and blue is your common positive for all of your lighting effects, be it the front headlight or, or rear headlight or any of the other lights that uh, you may want to operate. So basically we're going to be using blue as our common. The other wires, the, the violet, the yellow, the white, and the green, uh, those are for your different lights. Uh, for example, the white wire is for your front headlight and the yellow wire is for your return headlight and violet and green can be uh, ditch lights or a Mars light or some other light. Let me go the uh, right way here. This is another diagram on the Digitrax website that you can find and this basically gives you uh, CVs to program or what CV to program for what wire. So for example, if I want to program an effect for the white wire, which is the front headlight, I would program CV49 to a particular value 
and I'll show that in a little bit uh, to get the particular effect that I'm looking for. Okay, to continue, I have the light bulb here and I have the, like I said before, the blue, which is our common positive, clipped onto one lead of a light bulb. And in a normal application, you would, of course, solder this. Uh, but for demonstration, I want to be able to quickly move wires around. And I hope I, you guys can see this okay. I'm going to put the other lead up to white. And as you can see, I have light. Now white again is the front headlight. So if I take my Digitrax throttle and I turn the F0 function on and off, or if I put the direction key in the other direction, just like a normal headlight, it'll turn on and off accordingly. If I do the same thing with the yellow wire, yellow wire being the rear headlight, and I take the Digitrax decoder and I hit the direction key to reverse, the rear headlight now comes on and off and again I can turn it on and off with F0 just like in a regular locomotive. So to review, blue is your common positive, white is your front headlight, and yellow is your rear headlight uh, for the uh, opposite wire. Now if I were to take this to let's say the violet wire or the green wire, I'm hooking up to, to the violet right now, I'm not going to get anything at the moment until I program some CVs because the violet and green wires are for other effects such as uh, a Mars light or a strobe light or, or flashing beacon or ditch light, something of the sort. Okay, so what I need to do is go back to my chart and I put that clip on the violet wire which tells me that I need to program CV52 to a particular value that will give me the desired effect. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit and here are the effects that are available. Uh, random flicker, Mars light, flashing headlight, single pole strobe, uh, and on and on, you guys get the idea. Uh, so I'm going to select Mars Light, which is going to be a value of 2. Now this is the second of two digits that needs to be programmed. The first of two digits is going to give, tell you when this effect will come on. So 0 is when the direction of the locomotive is forward and the function is on and the headlights on. One would be when it's in reverse. If I were to scroll down, uh, some will be on. Uh, at any time, some will be on only when you hit the horn button, etc., uh, etc. Et so to keep it simple, I'm going to keep the first digit zero. And I'm going to keep the second digit two, which is your Mars light. So to simplify that, I'm going to program violet wire CV52 to a value of 0, 02. So we'll come around here. Program. I've already been kind of messing with this a little bit. So you can see it there. CV to a value of 52. Enter. I'm going to exit. So now here's my Mars light. And like I said, there's different CVs to program for ditch lights. It's all on that list. Um, and you guys can choose whatever effect you desire and, and go from there.
Okay, here's another example where I programmed CV49. In this case, is the front headlight to a value of one, which is a what Digitrex calls a random flicker. I know by any means this is not a prototypical setup, but just to give you guys an example, uh, you guys can program your normal headlights and rear headlights uh, to different CV values to give them different effects and, uh, and go from there. And if I were to put this in the other direction, as you can see, that'll turn off. Well, there you guys have it. Uh, as usual, rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a lot of questions out there regarding lighting. Uh, again, I kept this really, really basic, uh, really simple. We're going to build from here. I'm going to get more involved with the lighting and do some more stuff with it uh, as we get to the Author and ST7, the ACE, uh, and we'll go from there. So we'll see you next time.